Oh, hi, Isolation Nation. I didn't see you there. That's how video works. You only see one way. It's one of the odd features of it, and which makes it, you know, whatever. You get it? Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> I've written a better opening monologue today. I don't write this. <laughs> no <way. laughs> Question so far? Wait, shit. You can't ask me. Oh, I don't understand it. I parse part of me do. Luckily, at least I am not here alone. My substandard skills at hosting can be saved by a man who can't see without glasses. Steve Hofstetter, everybody. Hello. I, uh, I, I, I forgot to wear my glasses on this, and I forgot to wear my glasses because every time I walk my dog, I have to take my glasses off because I have to put the mask on. You can't wear glasses and the mask at the same fucking time because they fog up. There's a lot of things we don't understand on this. Anyway, there's a, there's a lot of things I'm dealing with with quarantine. Every time I have to fill up a water glass while I'm on the phone, it sounds like I'm peeing. There's like a, there's a lot of things that we're dealing with here. The point the is, the tragedy too, Steve, of the of of the coronavirus times is you can't walk your dog with glasses. Yeah, that's uh. That's look, I understand other people are press conferences. Other people are going through <laughs> some other things. You know, they're drinking bleach. They're they're snorting Lysol. <laughs> There are a lot of problems, but mine mine are also problems. My point is, uh, excited to be here. If you guys are excited to be here, uh, tip the show. The way you do that is you can, uh, obviously, our Venmo is the top right corner of the screen. You can PayPal at laughfromhome.com, or you can uh, super chat us on the YouTube. Uh, and with that, it is time for Mr. Chris Bowers. Everybody, Chris Bowers. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm not on, ca I'm not on camera yet for a reason. I, uh, I, did, a, I did a Facebook thing today that basically uh -oh. said embr embrace the suck because they keep saying every two weeks, every two weeks, but L.A. County just said August 1st. The point is basically this. We need to just – it's going to be four months, and if it's sooner, great, instead of getting our hopes all up. So I today have embraced the suck. And I did a thing that I think is going to carry me through the apocalypse. Oh, no. <gasps> and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Oh. I think we're going to have a good time. Oh, and, uh... oh my God. <laughs> Chrissy, help me out. Chrissy, help me out. And uh, I'm very Bowers, excited. I will tell you. That is, Love you it. are absolutely right. That sucks. Wow. <laughs> you look like a butch lesbian. <laughs> I think I look more like a chicken. I think I look like a chicken on some level, like a chicken hair, and I'm doing like a chicken thing anyway. This is so. unbelievable. I don't know what to say or do. <laughs> I don't have the worst hair on the show anymore. This is incredible. I ben, think it looks pretty cool. Ben, you're wearing a hat, and you have the best hair on the show. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, couldn't, I couldn't match my shoes to my coat anymore. It made me feel bad, so now I'm going to match my hair to my coat. That's how this is going to work. I've got red and black and blue. Are you going to do this every time. day? Yeah, pretty much. That's the goal. <laughs> I think I think Chrissy did Chrissy did a pretty good job on the on the shaving of the head. So I'm pretty yeah. happy. I'm excited. I, I gotta say, uh, we have we have definitely matched our our foods because I shaved my hair to look like an egg, and this is clearly a hot dog move. <laughs> you know, I think Chrissy wanted to see what it's like to date a girl. <laughs> And you think that Bowers looks like a girl right now? You have dated some very ugly women. <laughs> I would like to defend them by saying, I think everyone's beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> One and, of them and, and, was the top 100 most beautiful people in FHM. We learned that earlier. And the, the vast majority were not. Uh, which, I, I, what I, number I'm would Bowers that, be? I'm not Bowers saying the, 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 the gen. Top the top fifteen in hot dog monthly. <laughs> <laughs> the month club. He's been my hot dog of the month a couple times. And, 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 and the second thing I have to to say to you guys. Wait, 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 wait. Can you hold it for one second? I just yeah. love the idea of there being actually being a hot dog monthly, like just with various <laughs> pictures of like the sexiest hot dogs each month. Oh, that's what he's eating hot dogs. You know, ball, ballpark puts it out. It's a, it's it's a bi monthly. They can't do it every month. There's not that much hot dog stuff, but every month, yeah. every other month, they do one. it's pretty good. I've been oh my god, for years. The, the old HDB himself, hot dog Bowers, <laughs> has taken it up a notch. 
<laughs> now, the second, the second uh, thing I want to tell you guys is I figured out last night, there's people who really like me and there's people who like me, but meh, whatever. And the difference I figured out is this. The people who really like me are the ones that know I'm not kidding. I do this all, all this shit for real. This is who I am as a person. I am this positive. I am this person all the time. This is not me b- being a character. Like there's, you know, Larry the Cable Guy is a character, but there's a guy behind that. I'm the opposite of that. Like I'm that real guy, that, but people think it's a character. This is real. This is all real. Are you, are you sure you're not a character? Because you look saying, like anime. I, I, <laughs> I, I think this looks cool as fuck and I'm going to wear it after this. And I like it. The coat matches. I'm super pumped about this whole thing. I just need blue... I need blue eyeglasses with my prescription, and I'm fucking in, dude. If I and blue and red, you need and you very much need a blue goatee. Well, we thought about that. We thought that might be overkill. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes. I need to look like Grace Jones in a Bond film. I want you to look like. <laughs> I I think look, it would be a lot easier to process this if it weren't for the perfectly matching blue sparkly coat. You look like a drag queen <laughs> hosting a review. <laughs> way Bowers, if you did if you did make the beard blue also you would look like the boss that people think is the final boss but there's actually a boss after you <laughs> i think if you cut off the beard and just left the goatee and made it kind of pointy and blue you would be a disney villain dude <laughs> Bowers, the real question is what do you do with those dogs <laughs> <laughs> They're the coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ours flayed some shiny blue dogs. <laughs> when Aladdin gets mad, no, it's no, unreal. I, I, you look like Aladdin. <laughs> I had I had a hundred sequin doodle pu- pu- puppies, and I turned them into this coat. <laughs> no, this is this is what happened. If Aladdin and the genie fucked, that's what would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's the one that's the one Steve. <laughs> and i say this looking like a sunburnt toe uh, <laughs> he's the offspring of of the aladdin genie and cruella Deville. this is what he like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a few generations in on a disney movie <laughs> which is perfect when you consider what our game is today uh, 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 from the overnight game and today Yes, it's going to be perfect. It's a good combo. Holy moly. I, why don't you just tell us? Uh, uh, well, let's, say, let's first say hi to Queen Rachel, shall we? Rachel, yes. save us. <laughs> hey, hi, everybody. <laughs> How are you, Queen? What do you think of, the, what do you th- what do you think of the hair, Rachel? Big fan? I, I, I like it. I'm a fan right. of colored hair. What does your yeah. your shirt say? Hooked on fun has really worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you don't watch the show, but she wore it on a previous episode. Right. No, I've never seen the show, but I I remember you wore it before, and I don't remember that. I also love that coincidentally, sorry, coincidentally, me and Ben are both wearing blue shirts. Just totally, we had no idea this was going to happen. And apparently, uh, yeah, Bowers blew this show. So <laughs> I'm blue. blue. Ba da do ba da ba dee da. That blue song. Oh my God, Bowers, you look so hot. I want to eat fruit off your body, Top Gun style. I, uh, by the way, if there was ever an episode where I'm glad I forgot my glasses. Uh, uh, so what do we got coming in already i'm assuming we have that... a lot coming in already bowers uh, well, wait we'll, yeah. we'll get to it in a sec because we should uh we should introduce let's do the game, let's do the game. yeah yeah so, let's let's so, introduce so the, over- the... the the overnight game last night was uh comedian or an animal a comedian animal a comedian there are a bunch of good ones um, i think this was the best that the fans have ever done this they game killed was it. there were so many good ones um actually why don't, why don't ben and steve i don't want to steal any of yours so why don't you guys do the ones you liked i have a bunch written down so, so I, I have like a bunch also i have I a bunch also you guys are gonna have to jump in because my phone is being used by carmel on this business call that i had to hop off of I have no access oh, gotcha. to my things on my phone. Right, well, no no well, worries. Well, so well, J- I've got Jeremy, a, I've got a bunch. No, ben, let me hear or Steve, let me hear the ones you liked, and then I'll and we'll compare them. So this one, uh, certainly, you know, a running joke on the show, uh, Tasha with Blue Jamie <laughs> Kennedy, brought to you by Jamie Kennedy Bone Broth, which was great. Yes. Um, one of my favorites was sleep. actually Bowers' girlfriend, uh, Chrissy Callums with Emu Phillips. Oh, so fucking good. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, one of my favorites. Similar to that also was uh, Adam Eisenheimer had Marlon Wayans. Nice. <laughs> yes, that was good. And, uh, and date Marlon. Oh, like, Marlon uh, with an I. I love that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dave Adler had Lamb Kinnison. Um, <laughs> that was good. Uh, one of my favorites, just because two previous winners of the Martin Grant, Teresa Lee and Heather Pasternak. So Ashley Janine did Teresa Lemer and Heather Pasternak. So I love that. <laughs> and then uh, Chris Asmo, I think, I was was my favorite one because he had some really great ones. Uh, one, a regular, uh, you know, here at Nowhere Comedy Club, uh, Rob Ryan Osiris. Um, and then yes. so a parrot top, which was just great. <laughs> and two giraffe ones, two separate giraffe yes, ones. I love both. Let's save Gen- the giraffe ones for the end. Let's save the giraffe ones for the end. Okay, Steve, we'll save the giraffe ones well. for the end. Because the fact that there's two giraffe ones is amazing. Uh, did you have any more other than the giraffes? No, no, no. That's what I was closing okay, on. Okay, so so I yeah, I was going to close on it as well. So we'll close on the giraffe ones. But there were Jeremy Day. Obviously, the Punisher had three. He had Patton hmm. Ocelot, which I liked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and Bill Burrow, right? But then he also had one of the draft ones, which we'll save for later. And then uh, my other two favorites were Lola had John Igua- I- Iguanazamo. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> and it's complicated had Dave Chappellican, which I really like. <laughs> <laughs> Can I guess one of the draft ones? Yes. Uh, yeah. I would guess somebody said Janine Giraffalo. Yeah, that is absolutely that correct. Right. That was <laughs> that, but, that, but the that second was one was Chris even from Zara. That was Chris from Zara, and then uh, Jeremy Days was what was the last one there, Steve? You can do. You can go. Uh, Giraffery Ross, which is just <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> I, one you didn't see because Jeremy oh, Days said Jim Giraffigan. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> giraffe ones. So there are three giraffe ones. So that's pretty awesome. That's amazing. amazing. So I think I'm voting for Dave Chappelican. That's my vote for the winner. So uh, for, for I'm complicated. It's it's there were there, there were just so many good ones. I wish we played this one live on the show. It was so fucking good. So yeah, good. there was a bunch. Go to go to the Twitter. Uh uh Animal Comedian is the hashtag SDSD S D S C game. Uh, is the other hashtag, and you'll see all of them, but there's a ton of really great ones. So good job, everybody. Uh, ben, what's today's game? Well, I will tell you this, Bowers, you're going to have to borrow these glasses because these <laughs> glasses will just take your look to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> up look like you are a disco queen from the future. It would be the greatest thing I've ever heard. I'm, 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 I'm Dieter from Sprockets, but blue. Yes. My name is Dieter. Now we dance. Yeah. <laughs> Our game today is the fuck did Chris Bowers do with his hair? Just comment on that in the comments. <laughs> uh, our game today is quarantine a cartoon character. Quarantine a cartoon character. So, so we should do some examples. Sure. Like Scooby, do not go outside. Ooh, like that. Uh, I also had a stay Homer Simpson. Ha! And, I like that one. <laughs> and also stay home for a wily coyote. So <laughs> Fred Flynn stoned a lot now because we're home and why not? I had that I had that one too, but it was just about me one time. So <laughs> holy. So please, if you'd like to, to enter the contest, enter in the comments for free, or if you'd like to be considered for our grand prize for a five dollar or more super chat, we will read your answer our guests and, uh, and us will vote on it we and us will vote on it and then you will win and then you get to be with us in the video front row and get free albums copies of all of our albums i got about 20 30 albums the other guys have a combined 11 so it's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can win a free copy of all the albums from other comedians that ben has um so let's uh let's your introduce- prior, for example yeah <laughs> Let, let's introduce or janine giraffalo uh <laughs> let's introduce uh our comedians yeah i'm trying to see is, is nico back in taylor yeah he's in the in? he's in the waiting room he's waiting to come can, in can we can we let okay yeah. all right so we got two great comedians uh first up we have uh nico white say hello nico white to everybody and he's nico. still connecting the audio Woo! Woo! Yeah. he's muted uh, say hi nico i'm good man how are you unmute myself i think i shall yeah. <laughs> Am I muted? Can you hear me? We hear you. Got you, buddy. Perfect. Good to hear everybody. How y'all doing? Good. What are you what are you in front of? 
I'm in front of this laptop, but if you're talking picture wise, honestly, I couldn't find the picture. So I tried to get the picture of my album cover, and I think I got it. There we go. <laughs> so you're it's, you're in front of you. I'm in right. front of me, man. Got to yeah, solid solid promo right there. Make sure and get the album titled that. Yeah, <laughs> man. Make sure you get an album titled Face. Yeah, if you, if, if you search your albums by facial recognition, they will pick that up. That's perfect. That's great yeah. promo. <laughs> we also have we also have old Allison Goldberg. Your Allison Goldberg returning champ. Say hello, Allison. Allison. How are you? Thank you for having me back. Welcome you're, back. You're welcome for having you back to my bedroom. Uh oh. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> dream. Yeah, Love it's it. Nice, it's nice of you to have me back since I spoke pretty exclusively about semen last time. Wow, that was part of the criteria. So we're, yeah. proud, we're yeah. glad you're back. <laughs> yeah, I'm different out here. Yeah, you're, you're very, very far from your too. mic. So you're low. Yeah. Oh yeah, my you gosh, you're right, low. because I sat down. <laughs> it's there behind me. Because I'm going to, go. you guys, you said to stand up for my set, and I'm going to, yep. but right now I'm going to chill and watch. Yeah, we also go. forgot to put the, don't put the microphone behind your head. Yeah, as well. um, that's our fault. This could include that next time. That would be yeah. really helpful for me. Yeah. All right, Steve. Steve, it's time to show us the audience where all of them are also in blue mohawks. It's been a big surprise. I did. I queried with all the fans. They're gonna all come in no mohawks. Are you way. ready? If Here they are, go. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> um, all right, uh, audience, join us. Uh, we've got we've got Jen, we've got Katie, we've got Joe, we've got Jessica, we've got Chris, we've got Cassandra. Uh, we've got Tony, we've got Frank, we've got Chrissy. Uh, thanks for joining us. As always, you are the lifeblood of the show. If you guys want to be uh, with us on the front row, oh, thank God none of you are blue. Uh, if you want to, uh, <laughs> although <laughs> Jessica went <laughs> between Bowers and me. That's what that is. That's if. Uh, That's so if you guys want to join us in a future episode, you can do so at laughfromhome.com, of course. And uh, we're happy to have you. And Rachel, I assume we have a million uh, things coming in. Uh, probably a lot about Bowers' head. Yeah, that's very true. And a lot of uh, in support for Bowers' head. Uh, we've got Race, Rachel Holst, $10. Uh, Bowers, hell yeah for the hair. I love you guys. Thanks for the smile and the laugh. We have... Um, let's see. Mario Miser, the carpet does match the drapes. That he turned into a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that is great! Oh my oh, god, fun. that he turned into a jacket. That is brilliant. That might be the best Yo. moment of all time. <laughs> so, you know when you walk in at the wrong part of the conversation, I'm sitting here like, well, what am I missing right now, though? <laughs> uh, Nico, what you're missing is that is that uh, Bowers didn't look like that before. Just so you know, he he was not he was not always a Disney villain. This is a new. So then, so then Bowers, Bowers, yeah. Bowers. My question to you is, buddy, what broke you, man? <laughs> <laughs> broke you? Who broke you? And how do we break that person, bro? <laughs> See, I've been I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. It looks fun. I've always wanted to do this with my hair. I'm not gonna be outside till August first, so who gives a fuck? So let's give it All a right. shot. You know what I mean? Like you know. Um, Bowers, not? That, that's a terrible reason only on account of going outside you get seen by maybe five ten people per outing you're broadcasting live every day more than you have in your life so make the choices <laughs> you want to be seen, not because you won't be seen but ben the, be the beauty of what, of what of solid what bowers point <laughs> Bro, the beauty of what you just said, though, is that you did this because there was nothing else to do, but nobody can really see it. Go, don't deprive yourself, man. Put a mask on, go outside, show off the blue hair, man. Let it be seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let a few people mask. touch it. I gotta get a blue sparkly mask, then I'll be in, dude. Then I'm yeah. Ready. Yeah, you'll be in. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, what else right, we got? Rachel, let's we catch a, up. We and then we'll go to yours. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot. We have uh, Z Bunster sent uh, the show a hundred dollars and said, "I love the hair, Bowers." Thank you. Nice. Uh, the Bunst. Heather Scott, five dollars. Bowers, you look great. Thank you. Carrie, two dollars. Bowers, still sexy as fuck. You rock. 
Uh, Jeremy Day, two dollars. Bowers, why so blue? Um, <laughs> we have Sarah Leventry, five dollars. Steve, use shaving cream on your glasses; it keeps them from fogging up. And I love you. Well, I appreciate Aww. I appreciate both of those things, but I'm not wearing glasses now. And so. it also... no, I know it's from before. I also use shaving cream on my head. That's how I got here. <laughs> shaving cream on your glasses might keep them from fogging up but you still would not be able to see anything i think you i think you put it on and then take it off yeah by the way Man. i also realized i i went i shaved my head and bowers turned his blue between the two of us we went blue man group <laughs> It's a good thing I know Steve is a good guy because as you said, you shaved your head. Hairs on my arm stood up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm still Jewish. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> we actually only booked you on the show because your name is White. There was a big mix up. I, bro, I know. <laughs> I thought y'all was getting a Japanese cat. <laughs> <laughs> If you're an anime fan or know anything about, yeah, you know. Well, yeah, actually, Chris Bowers. Yeah, Bowers mm -hmm. is going to uh, co-star with that anime cat in the next. Mo okay, moving on. Okay. Uh, I said Rich. I said he looked like he was anime before. What do we got, Rich? We've got Carrie, five dollars. Steve, put that strip of tape. Did you put that strip of tape on your nose? It prevents your glasses from fogging up when you breathe. Mm. It's still, I'm not like, look, I don't want my glasses to fog up, but I also don't want to do other worse, more inconvenient things. <laughs> the idea of like, you know, it'll stop your glass from fogging up, breaking them. I'm like, well, well yeah. Hey, Steve, you gotta, you gotta stop worrying about looking dumb, man. Embrace the suck. It's the new world. Let's do this shit. Come on. I shaved my head three weeks ago. Don't you lecture me on looking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and that man I is look, a blue mohawk. I, he knows what he's talking about. He does, but <laughs> I looks dumb in mid-April. Okay, I look dumb. I'm the I'm the I, I'm the OG I, of looking dumb. I agree. I agree. All right, Rachel, let's catch up so we can get to a comic. We got this is got to be a, a tight show. Okay, we've got three more. We've got Dun Talk five dollars. I love the rebrand Bowers. We've got Drop five dollars. Love from New Zealand. And then Wolfpack, $5. You guys are helping uh, get me through finals week. Keep it up. Wolfpack, love that. I hope that's Ellis fam right there. Love that. Hello. <laughs> uh, awesome. awesome. All right. I think it's Let's time for our first comic. Let's do it. All right. So come to the stage right now. He has a new album called Marcellus out everywhere albums are. You're going to love him. Nico White, everybody. Nico White. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. People clapping after they hear my name. Nigga, I heard that in weeks. Y'all know what's happening right now. God. Audience, y'all don't understand. Like, if I stood up, it would really change things here. Look, I don't know how to start. I don't even really know what to say to y'all. I just hope you're staying sane. For me personally, I, oh yeah, no, truly, it's a genuine smile. I've not been on stage in so, so many months. I can't see you, Taylor, but God bless. Look here. I didn't realize how much of a hater I was until this quarantine happened because I used to just let, <laughs> no, like seriously, I didn't realize I was this much of a hater. And I didn't realize that the media was such ballers that they would throw their shit in our face all the time. First of all, they're making news anchors report from home, which would be nice if the news reporters had more relatable homes. <laughs> However, that's not the fucking case. You want to know why there's my, my background is a picture of me? Because this is Project Wall right here, okay? <laughs> I don't want you to see what's actually happening. Meanwhile, Brenda Blackman is sitting under a diamond chandelier, yo. Know? I never thought, I never thought, I never thought in my life that I would grow up to be a 27-year-old man Look at Brenda Blackman and go, I could find her address. I could pawn that chandelier. I never thought I would ever have that thought. <laughs> Grown adult man. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest with y'all, I don't even fuck with chandeliers. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they do. <laughs> I don't particularly know how you spell it, but 
<laughs> it looks a lot nicer than my ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm um I'm I'm in quarantine with my mom who's over sixty, so that means I can't get laid because I can't afford to bring. Yeah, yeah, you heard you heard that. Oof, yeah, yeah, dog. On my birthday, on my birthday, my birthday. My birthday was May eighth. So here's the thing: I had a cousin who came over to say happy birthday, right? which is very, very sweet. Here's the problem. She's a month over having COVID-19. She knocked on the door and my mom, again, over 60. So over 60, that makes you inquisitive and curiosity killed the cat. So she walks to the door. (laughs) (laughs) She opens the door like a mom would. She sees who it is. She remembers that this person had this thing. And I didn't know my mom still moved that fast as a smoker. You know what I mean? She got away from the door. (laughs) And I walk out. She goes, hey, Nico, somebody here to see you. I walk out. I see my cousin standing there with her mask on saying happy birthday. And I'm like, you need to get out. (laughs) Get out right now. And I didn't know that this would make me that kind of person because she only had love in her heart. But I felt it was a setup because it's like, um, you've never said happy birthday to me in person for the last 25 years. So what changed this time? <laughs> My nigga, you could have passed me a note under the door. You could have you could have yelled from in the hallway. <laughs> I hope you guys are staying sane. Okay. I prefer like darker kind of stuff. So I'm going to play with y'all. I hope y'all have as much fun as I do with this. And if you don't, fuck it, forget it. But <laughs> <laughs> no, because truly, I've, I've, ha- I've had people try to, you know, get through this with me and I've tried to help them out. Like I had a friend, he told me, he's like, you know, Nico, um, I lost my dad. His dad died. And I was trying to be, you know, a good friend about it. He was like, I need to hear the sound of my dad's voice one more time. I need to hear my father speak to me one more time. So I said, Call your father's old cell phone and listen to his voice over the answering machine. And I should have kept my mouth shut because the first words out of his father's mouth were, hi, I'm not here right now. Now. (laughs) (laughs) Right now, (laughs) M-A-R-S-C-E-L-L-U-S. All right. I don't know. Um, I don't know where I am on time, but I know this bit of definitely take me to time. Um, I am um, before this all happened, I had a problem with the media lying to you guys. They'll tell the general public that black people are offended by things we honestly never thought about. For example, there's an Irish actor named Liam Neeson. He said something racist. They were all over the news like Liam Neeson said something racist and black people are outraged. And I was here in the house confused, like what black people? We don't know who that is, ladies and gentlemen. This nigga's not famous in my community. <laughs> when I when I first heard the name, when I first heard the name Liam Neeson, I was like, did he beat up Jesse Smollett? I had no idea who they were talking about. <laughs> Here's the thing. When you tell us these things, we'll act offended because we have to keep up with our own outrage. My mom tried to act mad, but she didn't have the name right. She burst in the house talking about, can you believe that shit Leon Nelson said about us? Wait, wait, wait. Who who is Leon Nelson? Boy, you know Leon Nelson. The white man from that movie, Take Me Away. You know who I'm talking about. (laughs) He's great like that, man. Because she's older with perfect time. And when Amy Winehouse died, we were watching the Grammys. And they said, coming up next, we're going to pay tribute to Amy Winehouse. And I'm missing a beat. My mom said, fuck they going to do? Smoke crack? I've never laughed harder. <laughs> <laughs> Good, clean, fun. Thank y'all for y'all time. Y'all keep supporting this show. My name's Nico White. Good. Nico White, Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Nico Bye. White. Bob Bye. Marcellus. M-A-R-S-C-E-L-L-U-S. Available everywhere. Yeah, get nice. get Nico's album. Also, Nico, one of the winners of the Friendly Shoulder Grant, which we've raised. Yes, some indeed, money I am on this show. Uh, a lot of people who support the show yes. are people who have supported that grant. So now you see you oh. see where it goes to. 
Um, it goes. So you to, see where you know, it goes to, Matt. It goes to funding uh, fancy backgrounds. So yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> if you Get that out, Nico. If you want to tip Nico, you can do so. Laughfromhome.com or a Venmo is in the top right corner of the screen. Or you can, uh, you can, uh, obviously, you could super chat. Um, I just love the idea that, like, once you heard that about Liam Neeson, your reaction was just like, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. Duh. I do have it's a very particular set of skills. Anyway, you get the point. <laughs> I get the point. If only one of those skills was shutting the fuck up, he wouldn't have gotten in trouble. <laughs> I, mean, I, I truly believe that all Liam Neeson movies should they shouldn't have mm-hmm. to say they should be called Liam Neeson movie, where he comes out and he goes, All right, it's gonna be just like the last one, but you like yeah, it. Yeah. So let me watch you be, let me watch watch me beat up some people, and we'd all be Bro. quick. Quit that, pretending she got taken again. Like, it was a great movie. It's going to be a different action. It's, it's Liam Neeson movie from now on. I'm with you. Here's how out of touch I am. I just found out this nigga was Qui-Gon Jinn 38 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who that is. That's the guy that got killed by Darth Maul in episode one. You're trash. <laughs> the supreme peasantry. Man, look at my picture again, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss this so much. Uh, Rachel, Rachel, what do we got coming in? A bullfrog. Oh, hey, look, look at that! Hair. Oh, 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 wash it out tonight. That's that's okay. But Bowers, <laughs> how did you do that so fast? Uh, Nico, during Nico said, I have like hair wax, so I just ran in the bathroom real quick and uh, wow, did a thing. Where do you get the hair uh, wax, Rachel? That's a real question I'm asking because we looked for it yesterday, and we couldn't find it. Where'd you get it? Did you already have I it? Or it. Like I've it? had it for like a year, okay, cool. I don't like the eyebrows, anyway. the eyebrows really okay. complete the look. By the way, <laughs> a shout out not only did Rachel change, but also Jen changed her background, so she's blue in support of ours right now. Um, oh shit! I just realized we got we got some of us in blue and some of us in red. Fuck! This is gonna. Yeah. <laughs> that, what issues. you know about it, huh? Yeah. I see, I see you being neutral, hop setter. I'm red and blue. I don't know. I'm just I'm in the middle. So confusing too because I'm wearing blue, but then what is this going on? What on earth? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you up in the nursing homes, man. Oh. <laughs> Shout out, uh, looks like we got a birthday in the crowd. We got a quarantine birthday. Uh, Frank, uh, Frank Notaro, uh, best known oh. as host of Street Smarts, um, is, uh, is in the crowd. Happy birthday, man. Hopefully you're being smart and staying off the streets so your birthday <laughs> Hey, Chap, if you're actually the host of Street Smarts, I want you to know we watch that like every night at three in the morning here in the hood, dog. Like, you a legend if it's really you. Yeah, tell, tell him about it. Tell him how much you loved him on that show, dude. <laughs> What's so great hey, is that. Hey, that, that ben, Frank, ben, let me tell you something. I will tell him, dog. I ain't been out the house for 40 days, bro. I don't mind talking to a complete stranger. <laughs> no, what's great, Ben, is that, that Frank Guitaro is literally the equivalent of fucking Leon Nelson. Like, he's Leon Nelson to your Frank <laughs> Nicotero. Like, it's exactly the same joke you've been making for seven weeks was Nico had it fucking awesome. That was great. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm so but glad I, know I did what you mean by joke though. This is Frank Nataro from Street Smarts, the host of the show that you How dope would it be if it is? I don't know if it is. I really can't tell. It's it definitely isn't. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's not two, it's it. it's two different it's two different names. Uh, Frank Nicotero oh. is the what? host. What? Oh, you gotta be careful with that last name, dog. <laughs> Arrow. Just because I shaved my head doesn't mean. All right, Rachel. What else we got coming out of Super Chats? We have a lot of tips. We've got Heather Scott, fifteen dollars. Great set, Nico. We've got Dave Adler, five dollars. Happy birthday, Nico. Oh. Um, Shelly, five dollars for Nico. Happy belated birthday. Thank got you. Z Bunster, twenty dollars. Nico, the B. <laughs> That be that bastard, that bastard Leon Nelson. Uh huh. 
We have Gun Talk, $10 for Nico. Happy belated birthday. We've got you, Tyler Steven, $2 for Nico. Um, <laughs> By the way, I love yeah. we're going to have him back on next week. It's going to still somehow be his birthday. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, 100%. You know that. Celebrating all quarantine, baby. Best birthday way to get tips. Months, man. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you, this is the whitest thing I've ever heard. This is the whitest thing I've ever heard, Nico. You'll like this. I had a buddy one Shoot. time. This goes this goes to the Nelson thing. I had a buddy one time. He came out of a store and he kept he was singing, Go Charlotte, it's your birthday. Go no. Charlotte. I'm like, what did you fucking say to me right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but trust me, if you ever heard me sing Rockstar by Nickelback, you'd forgive that person for that mistake. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I would. I would There's, forgive anyone for anything they've done if it meant I didn't have to hear Nickelback. So that's what you don't like Nickelback. Oh, y'all, y'all disappointing me, man. I, do, I, do you, I, I, I can't remember what they sing. What's their big hit, Nickelback? Rockstar, bro. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. It's Rockstar. It's I don't know the other shit. How does it go? It's, like a, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, you try to get me. You try to get me to cut <laughs> rock star or this is it? not happening. You got close though. <laughs> Nico <laughs> almost <laughs> lost his black card. He almost sung fucking Nickelback on the internet. <laughs> bro, bro, if <laughs> if that's how I lost it, I'd be very shocked. I'm a whole otaku. I'm an anime nerd and all that. The black card ain't going nowhere. Look at that picture again. <laughs> Hey, by the oh, way, I love that Bauer saying it's been a while for Nickelback. That's stained. That's definitely not Nickelback. <laughs> I know it's not Nickelback. And you can remember that because that's what happened to your hair. Oh. <laughs> really? Dude. That's not Nickelback? <laughs> That's no, not Nickelback. No. And Nickelback also does that song the with with the. Oh, then I don't like the Nickelback. Lyrics. I guess I like Stained. I was wrong. I thought I liked Nickelback. <laughs> Turns out I'm a huge Stained guy. Fucking nice work. Uh, Thanks. And man. a huge Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's what I, I, like. I, I've been, I've been out the house in a way, week. I feel like way, Stained. The overnight game should be Smurf of Bowers. Like, what would be my Smurf name? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, that's, that's not, that's not bad. Answers, but I will say this. You are a huge Smurf, and uh, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, each and every single one of you need to be clapping for him, because that was a great pull right there. That was a great pull. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like him, bro. Thank you very much. So, no that doubt. Was, that was no the uh, the worst thing I've been told that I look like over the course of my life. I didn't even make that up. It's just a terrible insult that has hurt me for many decades now. There's a wide hey, celebrities I've been told I look like, and mm -hmm. the list starts kind of kind of flattering, and then devolves yeah. with people are like Mr. Bean or Gargamel. <laughs> I don't mean I don't mean to be a white lady and jump in and take your struggle from you, but I have something very similar. <laughs> so when I was younger, I fell on a slide and like you know you see that, but it gave me this really bad list. So I met, I'm real bad with ths. And one of my homies was like, yeah, this thing me gonna sound like Fantasia. For three years, I was not the same, dog. Because if you never heard Fantasia do an interview back in the day where her list was bad, yeah. <laughs> so I feel you, Gargamel. Thank you very much. Also, Bowers looks like he should be in Fantasia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I, got, I got two great things I want to tell you. And I know by saying great, I'm going to be ruined, but whatever. Uh, one, so Tony Deere was in the, our, on, on the audience one time. Uh, we were at a Halloween part, or we were at a bar one time, and he's talking to this girl. And I come up there, Tony. And I come up to this girl, and uh, he's talking to this girl, and he goes, Hey, how do we know each other? I'm like, Oh, <coughs> you guys have had sex. And they're both like, What? No, we haven't. I'm like, Remember two Halloweens ago? You were Gargamel, she was the cat. They both went, Oh, fuck. <laughs> because <laughs> they were drinking and then my favorite we had josh blue once and we josh blue's a great mm -hmm. great comic and uh but he kind of uh, looks you, like you, you're tributing him now he kind of yes right <laughs> josh blue he kind of looks like screech right he kind of looks like dustin dime a little bit right mm -hmm. so uh he told me how that's just been a big thing it one and he hates it so one time he was at a at a fundraiser and screech was there and J josh blue had to go over and he goes i got a bone to pick with you and screech goes People think we look alike, huh? And Josh Blue goes, yeah. He goes, sucks to look like Screech, doesn't it? He goes, yeah. He goes, let me put it in perspective, man. 
I am Screech. And Josh said, I was like, oh, fuck, my bad. (laughs) (laughs) Screech one time. So in college, I had a late night talk show called The Glebe Show. And my freshman year, or I guess this was sophomore year, I did a big live outdoor show in the quad of my of my dorms and big live stage rig, live broadcast, running hundred foot cables up the dorm room building to our TV station. And my guest was Screech. And it was a big get for us. Very excited. What I did not anticipate was that one, his stand up would be really, really bad and kind of annoying. And two, that all those people <laughs> who were not in the live crowd were up in the two dorm buildings up to eight stories tall surrounding the stage Heckling Screech from hundreds of feet in the air. Pouting <laughs> down at Screech. You suck! Fuck you! Ah! And then Screech didn't know how to respond. He just kept looking up and going, Cock! Cock! <laughs> awkward. Not, not ideal. I actually, I accidentally said a very mean thing to him once without realizing it. Uh, we were, I, I got booked to do this, uh, this, show on showtime where it's it was like 30 or 40 comics and you know one by one we're all kind of meeting up in the lobby of the hotel they put us up in to get bussed over to the theater and so it's a lot of us that hadn't seen each other in a while and everybody's just saying hi and just be like oh you're on this show too and just saying hey and uh dustin his real name dustin just at one point just goes how do you all know each other and i just go oh you know from comedy club uh, oh <laughs> Yes. I, actually have, I only have one Screech story. I met Screech in a bar one night, and he stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> that same episode with 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 a Screech as, as my guest after it set, he sat down for an interview, and my first question I asked him at the desk was, "Dustin, most people know you from your work on Saved by the Bell." He goes, "Yep," and I go, "But a lot of people don't know you're also from Saved by the Bell, the new class, Saved by the Bell, the college years, and Saved by the Bell, Hawaiian style." <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Bowers question where there's no question you just say things to them and then yep. add, add the response. <laughs> so let's catch up and then and then we'll we'll get to our next comic let's do it okay, okay, okay. we've got um jessica tips nico 25 dollars and said yay nico we have a, a couple generals carrie five dollars i'm still losing my shit laughing in my chair bowers looks like sonic the hedgehog and rachel <laughs> looking like knuckles Wait, hold on a second. Both like Sonic the Hedgehog and the bad guy from Sonic the Hedgehog at the same time. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, two things really quickly. One, I love the tortilla couch you have behind you. Two, it looks amazing. Good use for it. Two, every episode when you say we've got a couple generals, we got some generals coming in. I just picture generals. Walking into your apartment. <laughs> We've got a few generals. I just picture, Hello, we're here, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting for duty, Queen uh, Rachel. <laughs> she is a queen, so she would have generals. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we've got Duntalk, $5. Ben, do you remember that Gargamel I kept trying that kept trying to eat the Smurfs? It really changes how you were looking at Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bowers is a hot dog, so that was the whole that was the whole act out. Hey, 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 by the way, yeah. if someone's gonna get eaten on this show, it's for sure me. There's no question. <laughs> well, we got to last got the, the most rest meat. Of the I got the most meat. That's what I'm saying. It'll get you all through the whole thing. Like you guys are too skinny. It's gotta do me any good. Yeah, I'd be, done with, I'd be done with you in an afternoon. I have to fucking go find other people. <laughs> I'm a buffet all by myself. What, a, what else we got? Oh God! If Rachel wrapped you in the tortilla blanket, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I'm good. We're caught up. Yeah. All, all right. right. Excellent. Cool. Uh, let's do another comic then. I'm excited. This is a returning champ. She's already been on. She did such a great job. Uh, we brought her back. Uh, she was named by Time Out New York, ranked one of the top 10 funniest women in New York. She's a co-host of her podcast, Two Girls, One Podcast. It was very funny. Allison Goldberg, one more time. Woo! Woo! Hi, everyone. Um, I hate to ruin everyone's day, but I want to make sure everyone knows that Screech also does porn. 
<laughs> That's a true story, not a joke. Um, anyway, well, thanks for having me back. It's good to be here in my bedroom. Um, whenever I do stand up in my bedroom, I feel like I should talk about quarantine things, but I'm like so fucking sick of quarantine content. You know what I mean? Like, if I see one more loaf of bread that I can't eat, and like your new puppy that I can't pet, and like fucking Zoom screenshots, like, wow, you're on Zoom. We're all, I'm on Zoom right now. I, yeah. So, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know why this is happening. But so I'm going to tell you guys about some things that happened in February. Okay. <laughs> in the before times. <gasps> <laughs> is everyone excited? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So in the before times, uh, I did 23 and me. That's right. I took the test and I want everyone to know that I nailed it. <laughs> I, got one, I got 100% on my test. I am a genius <laughs> or seriously inbred. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I took the test and I want everyone to know that I am one hundred percent Ashkenazi Jewish. There is no one in this stream more lactose intolerant than I am. <laughs> I'm so glad there's like some Jews in this Zoom to get that joke. But yeah, I am I am Hitler's life's work just ruined. <laughs> Phoenix rising from the ovens. Um oh. <laughs> Uh, but you know, I was staring at my. Uh, yeah, I still think about that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, so I was I was staring at my sexy, sexy, one hundred percent Ashkenazi Jewish results, and I realized something. Um, Ashkenazi, you guys know what this is, right? Someone want to tell me what Ashkenazi is? Uh, Jewish. That's not from Spain. Okay, that was like a weird way of putting it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, not, not accurate. And aren't you one? Okay, anyway. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But Ashkenazi Jews are Jews from Europe. We literally have the word Nazi in our name. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like we were asking for it, is it not? <laughs> it's too soon. Uh, I'm not asking. I'm not asking if it's too soon after the Holocaust. I'm just wondering if it's like too soon in my set for Holocaust jokes. Um, <laughs> but, but really, no one thought maybe we should have a rebranding. How about Ashkin? No, no, don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> think about it but uh you know being jewish has like been kind of weird the past few years because it's like a thing again and like you know i i didn't think it was a thing anymore you know um probably probably because i lived in new york forever which is a land we've been occupying since long before palestine am i right um <laughs> <laughs> to complain about Jews again. So um, again, like back in the before days, um, I was at a bar because we were allowed at them. And um, this guy, this is a true story. This guy starts talking to me. He buys me a drink. And um, somehow it comes up that I'm Jewish. Um, I don't know, probably because of my hair and my personality. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he literally points to a quarter on the ground and asks if I want to pick it up. I'm not fucking kidding, right? What? Yeah, so I said to him, I said, you know what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have laundry to do, you know? <laughs> do you guys know the book, The Game? Do you guys know the book, Game? Yeah, some of you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you guys know what negging is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, someone wanted to find negging, even though the last definition went so well? <laughs> it's telling someone that sounds like a compliment but really you're putting them down so it hurts them yeah. subconsciously yes you make them feel bad subconsciously so they'll like magically want to sleep with you um so i think that guy was trying to neg but he just like overshot a little and landed on bigotry you know what i mean <laughs> 
being, yeah, instead of being like, well, you're pretty cute for a girl with curly hair, as far as negging goes, okay. Instead, he was like, ah, your horns, I can barely see them. It's like, too far, you know? Um, <laughs> but like, a, a woman would never do this shit. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine just like, I'm at a bar, I spot a sexy motherfucker across the room. I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Allie. What's your name? Oh, Roberto, that's nice. Where are you from? Mexico. Oh, um, well, I hear Mexicans are really lazy. You want to prove me wrong and get to work on my pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, already taken care of the landscaping, but I have some other tasks. <laughs> Negging, put him down so he'll go down. No! <laughs> oh. That scene is kind of amazing, though. You know what I mean? Because now if a dude's a dirtbag, gets anti-Semitic or some shit, you just click leave meeting. The date's over. It's great. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I am still swiping, though, because, like, what else are you going to do in quarantine? And um, swiping in California is uh, actually kind of amazing. I'm a New Yorker, so swiping in California is like a whole new vocabulary. You know what I mean? Like, um, one of the first things I had to look up was um, ethically non-monogamous. Um, which I, I now know is technically defined as your partner knows that you cheat. Um, although really, I think <laughs> half the men that list ethically non-monogamous, they can't even find the first girlfriend, am I right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> then I had to Google pansexual, which means you'll fuck anything. Um, but my favorite remains <laughs> sapiosexual. You guys know what this is, sapiosexual? Mm -hmm. It's when it's uh, what people write in their profile when they are sexually attracted to intelligence. You're telling me age, gender, it does not matter what it is. You want to fuck it if it can do calculus? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't add up. <laughs> you, you can be attracted to intelligence, but it is not your sexuality. I mean, quantum mechanics tells us that every feeling is a collapse of some wave functions due to the interference of a matrix of attention functions. Did anyone come in their pants? <laughs> <laughs> and take sapiosexual off your profile, John. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the other problem with these apps is that I see so many people looking for a third. And I'm sorry, but that just seems greedy. Like, here I am, <laughs> wiping away, just trying to find one person to fuck. And there you are, <laughs> covering my lineup, because one's not enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> Although, honestly, you know, kudos to all the poly folks out there. Respect. I mean, I I have never even had a threesome. And frankly, I just don't think I could handle it. You know, I mean, it sounds overwhelming. So many moving parts. I just, I, I, I think I'm just too Jewish for a threesome. You know what I mean? Like the second things got going, I'd be like, does anybody need a snack? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's just how it goes when you're one hundred percent Ashkenazi Jewish. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Allison Goldberg. Allison Goldberg, Goldberg, one, more Allison time. Goldberg. one more time for Allison. Uh, obviously, you can tip. If you want to tip, you can do so. Top right of the screen for Venmo. Yes. So uh, you can also PayPal or you can super chat. Uh, PayPal laughfromhome.com. By the way, this is courtesy of uh, of Hayden who does our uh, who does. That our happens routine. so fast. Oh, yeah, he sent this to me. Meanwhile, um, Steve, so if you, if, Steve, if you can make that into a T-shirt that says "Embrace the Suck," I think I could sell a ton of those because I heard. I, like, when I absolutely can. Also, just a heads up: uh, Ashkenazi Jew definitely means Jews not from Spain. Uh, no, because what about the Sephardic Jews? Sephardic Jews are from Spain. Safarad means Spain. Yeah, but okay, the Mizrahi. Don't test me on my Judaism here. So I'm there, no, what, what I'm saying Jew is Ashkenazi. Jew off. Jew off. Jew off. Jew off. 
Jew off. Jews Chris Hitler Jews wanted Chris Hitler wanted all the Jews off, so stop it. Yeah. Not no, the no, best no, 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 no. It's the most Jewish. It's the most Moroccan Jewish off. I'm saying this was in my high school. Yes, uh, those all sure, descend from Spain. Hey guys, this feels like I'm in Sunday school again on the way to my confirmation. It's giving me I bad just, flashbacks. I just love that Steve's like really upset that he lost. I am not really upset that I lost. I, and also, by the way, I, I am very upset that Ben just said my confirmation. What the fuck did you just he's, say? He's joking uh, like, like he's a Catholic. He's I am not Catholic. joking. Real Jews Wait. don't just get bar mitzvahs. They then go four more, three more years until they get confirmed by their nah, temple. I didn't do that. I didn't do that shit. But can we go no, back and discuss what? That's what? real. That's real, Steve. Let's go back and discuss. Apparently, Steve things. knows nothing about Judaism. I'm with Allison on this. Both. <laughs> You're outnumbered. The, you hold on a second. Yeah. I, I I will I will cede I will I will cede the Sephardic thing, even though the word literally means Jews from Spain. But uh, Ben, confirmation. Yeah. <laughs> confirmation. Thing, bro. That's a thing. Jewish thing. Yeah, yeah. Confirmation. Go to school for a bunch of years after that. What's the Hebrew know? word for it? I don't fucking know. Because it's not a thing. <laughs> it isn't. Of course it's a thing. I'm going to ask my mom. Oh, I'm going to ask my no mom a text way. right now. My mom used to used to, used to to coach rabbis and tutor rabbis and help them write their sermons. She knows the Bible backwards and forwards and is Israeli, so stand by. Oh, Okay, so this is a thing in Reform Judaism. I'm looking it up. Reform oh. Judaism, not conservative oh. or orthodox. God, you're looking it up. There you go. Hey, anybody yeah. knows I have blue hair? If anybody knows that, not that the show just ground to a fucking halt as a bunch of people argued about how they're, who's more Jewish, but uh, you know, fucking, it was pretty fun before that. I don't also think you use the term "ground to a halt." I feel like we're really using the wrong terminology here, yeah. Allison. Yeah. Listen, I, I will say during a threesome, if one of the girls said. Anybody want a snack? That would be kind of hot to hear, to be honest. Yeah, with you. yeah. By the way, yeah, also then, Ben. ben Passing out blinces. In, <laughs> in, in her joke, she had two dicks, so now it's just two guys with their dicks hard waiting for a girl to bring them a snack? That's going to be awkward to me. I think that's the... I don't know that you should, in the episode where you look like you look, be doing that motion. I was going to do it myself, and I kept my arms off frame. There you go. There you go. Shake, wake, money. Wait, do that again, and I, I, like guys, I have breaking one more time, and I, screenshot. All right, great. I have breaking news that my mother just texted me. Apparently, she's watching and said, confirmation is a thing you went for one year. <laughs> so I just right. also want everyone to so, know that so my your mother, mother just, just told me to do that. jokes about threesomes. Hey, so. yeah. quit, quit bragging <laughs> about your mom. One, so. Al <laughs> Quit bragging about your mom watching your art. Okay, that's making us all feel bad. <laughs> this is how my mother learns about my sexual activity or lack thereof. There's nothing weird about it at all. <laughs> weird is great. I'm impressed. Rachel, we have any tips? Let's get some tips. Uh, maybe maybe people will weigh in in the comments about what different kinds of things are. Go for it. We've got, uh, Heather Scott, $15. Dear Allison, thank you for the non-quarantine content. Thank you. We've got... Done talk ten dollars for Allison. Uh, Jessica twenty five dollars. Uh, Allison Ooh. again, please. Thank you. Uh, we have Tyler Stevens two dollars for Allison. Frank Nataro in our live audience five dollars. Allison crushed it. Thank you. We have Hannah Lester five dollars and eighteen cents. Allison Goldberg, I'm checking my DNA to see what percentage I share with you. Great set, sister. The five dollars and eighteen cents. That's another. I hate to say it, but that's a yes. Jewish thing. Nice work. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> nice work. We have another uh, $5.18 from Dave Adler. Great <laughs> set, Allison. Here's a little something to pick up some snacks for the threesome. Z Bunster, $20. Allison, thanks for the 100% Ashkenazi jokes. Interesting way to forget the pandemic. <laughs> I'm just tired of the pandemic. It's going on forever. Can we end it now? Can we be done. My 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 mom just wrote back. So sorry, I don't rem remember, and it's not an Israeli word. So okay. 
Well, it's not. It's not <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> ben, my mom's got your back. She already texted to confirm. I, I when, actually, when look, I actually, I, out. I, I looked it up. There, is, there are some Jewish people who do it instead of bar mitzvahs because they think that a bar mitzvah is too uh, antiquated and Jewish. Oh, so it's, <laughs> it's that is what it. Yeah. Apparently, I did both. So, so, so like, there, there's a there's a thing like gay Republicans. That's like being an, an anti-Semitic Jew. Is there a whole group of people? They're like, oh, that's way too Jewish. We can't do that. Oh, that's oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's thing. called that's called Jewish people. We're very celebrating <laughs> as a people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, your hot dog has a blue yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> Bowers thinks he hates this conversation. I hate it more than any of them. <laughs> stop! Please stop. You know as much about Judaism as you do about Didi Gregorius. That's why. Yeah, Rabbi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rabbi Didi Gregorius of G. the, G. Of G. the Temple uh, Bethel Yankee. Really? <laughs> yeah, now he's on the Phillies. Oh my God! Actually, now he's Abraham, not on any team. It's the, what it's else the we house have, that, It's the house that Abraham built, right? That, that's where they yeah. play, Steve. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a Jewish name also, it's just not, okay. We can... A general came in. Aldo has been mowed the show, $5. Uh, I love you guys. Now, every time I say general, I'm going to think of Ben's comments. <laughs> <laughs> we had a general come in. He made me do 10 push-ups. I don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. Uh, we've got, um, to Tamara tips, Allison, $10. Thank you. And then I'm caught up. Caught up. All right. Well, let's do game time then. Are we ready for game time? Anything else we got to do? Yeah, we got to go gonna, through the game fairly quick, quickly, we gotta, by the way. We got a, yeah. we got a fundraiser, right? So, uh, we got a, a show after. Yeah. The game time is, the game is, uh, cartoon, quarantine, a cartoon character, correct? So, so, uh, Nico had to go. We'll plug him in a second. Uh, Allison, at, uh, Rachel's going to read the, the, uh, entries and then she'll read the, the ones for the contest. So you're going to be voting. So, uh, make sure you know which one you voting. like the best. You're going to be voting. So just kind of listen up and, okay. uh, let's hear him. Rach. Okay. Our last minute generic, uh, comment come in from Duntalk. Oh, no, 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 Rachel, don't you see we have generals? <laughs> you spotlight it. Oh. <laughs> I call them generic. That's like insulting to them. <laughs> the mill come in. You know we have uh, mediocre. You want to read the mediocres, Rachel? <laughs> well, we have a basic comment. A... We have a bunch of basic comments now. <laughs> yeah, it's a bu bunch of people writing while wearing Uggs and drinking rosé. <laughs> um, Duntalk had a suggestion, five dollars. We all need to salute when Rachel says a general came in. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. We and Rachel reporting for duty. Sorry, general. it's weird. I shouted too loud. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was way too loud. All right. Um, La Ellen Shaw, ten dollars. Just walked in from work and unfortunately missed a lot. But Hub said Allison's um, hilarious so far. Also, side note, my first husband was Jewish. It was his best attribute. <laughs> <laughs> now for the game. All right. Um, so let's see. So these are some of the unpaid entries. We've got that lane boy. Oh, actually, both of the ones I chose are from him. He had some good ones today. Uh, nobody's allowed on the road runner. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or just and road we, runner. That's <laughs> right. And then we're all going Looney Tunes. Nice. I like that. That's cute. All right. So is these are the anybody in our live audience? Oh, any live audience people? Oh, I have Katie. one. Okay. Go to Jessica. I submitted the cat in the hat in the face mask. <laughs> nice. Love it. Like that. That's Love good. That. I don't know any other cartoon characters. I hope that's good. You don't know any other cartoon characters? No, I kind of ignored that. Those are electric grannies, you know? Uh, I, I also like the idea of the cat in the hat because of the quarantine haircut. <laughs> yeah. Reasons to wear hats right now. So yeah. go ahead. You don't want to let him in your house at this juncture either. So Yeah. <laughs> the central plot of Cat in the Hat is important right now. <laughs> strangers come in and ruin your life even though they're trying to be fun. Yeah, that's right. fun. Exactly. There might not be any cleaning that one up. 
<laughs> uh, has one. Uh, yeah, I just thought because quarantine a cartoon, I didn't really make a joke for it, but I do feel like we're on Tiny Toon Adventures today. So Rachel is Babs, <laughs> Bowers is Buster, Plucky Duck would be Ben, and then we'll just give Hampton J Pig to Steve there. So. Oh, thanks. thanks so much. I appreciate that. Because <laughs> he's kind of bald, so I feel like that's probably fish things. That doesn't mean I'm suddenly pork. <laughs> Nice Fine, friend. that's what Safari means. Okay, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Here are the paid entries. Um, we've got uh, Robert Edwards. Dora, no longer the explorer. Nice. <laughs> Dora, the homeschooled. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Uh, Evan Greenberger. Quarantine aged mutant ninja turtle. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Carrie, on behalf of the Punisher, Chip and Dale's is still clothed. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Jeremy Day. Winnie is afraid. Winnie is afraid to poo because he doesn't have any toilet paper. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, we've got we've got Benny O, the great Gazoom. Uh, Gazoom, I like it. We've got another Benny O. When our powers stay at home, so so does Captain Planet. <laughs> we have Carrie. Floridians who went to the beach left with more than just sandy cheeks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that the cartoon? Very yes. specific cartoon character. Oh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, I didn't get that. Uh, Carrie, on behalf of Ming Mercy, Woody Woodpecker, but can't leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have Evan Greenberger, COVID the Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. We've got uh, Morgan E. Sponge Bob for toilet paper. <laughs> 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 we have Tyler Stevens. Dexter's laboratory creates a vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> We've got Z Bunster, six feet of Space Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's good. Brianna Tompkins, Prof Professor X Central. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then the last one I have is Jeremy Day. It's hard to go on a raging bender when all the bars are closed. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's what I have. All right, all right. Uh, Allison, what's your favorite? Okay, we're all going Looney Tunes really spoke to me, but I'm going to have to vote for Winnie Camp Poo because he's looking for toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> also glad that one did not particularly speak to you. That That's good. <laughs> exactly. Rach, what's your uh, vote? What's your favorite? I want to go with Jeremy Day's Winnie Poo. I lost right. my yeah. shit with that one. Yeah, I really, right. I really like, I really, I, I, I lost my shit. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I, uh, I did like Dora, No Longer the Explorer. I like Chippendales is still closed. I like Cove the Barbarian a lot. Six Feet of uh, Space Ghost. But I think I'm also going to have to go, uh, Winnie uh, is afraid to poo because he didn't have any toilet paper. That's a really fucking great one. <laughs> All right. What, a, what do you got, Ben? Uh, Blue Bowers at Home was my vote. Is that not a cartoon <laughs> character? <laughs> um, cartoon want a character. What? Wait, you, you want a what? <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy submitted that one. <laughs> it's from yesterday. It's an old one. It's from yesterday. That's why it's past tense. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is Chrissy's way of getting out of doing that. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to blue. I can't figure out how to conjugate it live. Anyway. 
out. <laughs> Neither no. can we. That's why we do this on Zoom. We can't conjugate live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why Woody had a woodpecker is a very good one, as was Peace Ghost. My vote has to go to Winnie Afraid to Poo. That is so funny. <laughs> Great. Um, by the way, I, I would like to say I was bar mitzvahed in front of my entire con- uh, conjugation. Oh my God, get over so, it, Steve. It's it was so a pun. It was- <laughs> Allison, you stepped on the Jesus pun. Christ. You stepped on the fucking pun. It was a conjugation. <laughs> by the way, you're annoyed that I went back to Judaism, so you said Jesus Christ. Perfect. You're 100% Jewish. <laughs> a lot of Jews did back then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. With that, um, my favorite, actually, even though that that's almost unanimous, my favorite was the Quarren Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because you know heroes in a lockdown. But I would say, <laughs> and we eat a lot of pizza. It makes sense. It all tracks, man. It absolutely does. Uh, so, uh, but Winnie the Camp Pooh is the winner. Uh, or whatever the whole full thing was. When he, yeah. when he afraid, afraid to poo because like a toilet paper. Yeah, Jeremy did the Punisher. The yeah, he he almost won both games today. Did he win both games? Because I no, he I had. Well, there's never really know. an official winner for the overnight, is I there? I get that, but, but there is. He, yeah, Jim okay. Giraffe again. Jim Giraffe again was one of the tops, and then yeah, so Jeremy Day with a with a twofer maybe. We'll see. But yeah. Yeah. anyway, his life listening to our albums. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he gets a, he gets them every every week. He gets a new set of albums. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to institute a, a can't win again for two weeks rule or something like radio yeah. style. Nah, yeah, they can still get front row tickets. It's cool. I mean, you know, yeah, that's fine. I, yeah. The more they listen to my album, the better. Um, Allison, uh, did you have any that you wanted to put in there? Did you have any any ideas? Oh. Any jokes? I wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> no big deal. If you don't, it's no big deal. No, I was just listening okay. to everyone else's. I failed. Ben, ben always has like 11. Ben, do you, w- w- let's hear your list, and then we'll go to Steve's. I only have three today. I've got uh, SpongeBob No Pants. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Elmer Fudd up with these stay-at-home orders. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got... Bugs Bunny, but the part where he's just underground digging tunnels, or when he comes up and goes, "What's up, Doc?" <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Steve, uh, mine, mine is just Peter Griff. Finish this fucking show, please. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was in in cartoon style and Ben style. That was very good. I'm glad. You Thank you. Spoke. <laughs> By the Very way, I'm totally cool. gonna All make right. I'm totally gonna make a, an embrace the suck shirt with with Bowers blue Bowers hot dog Bowers. Bowers with the hot dog mohawk and embrace <laughs> the sock is gonna be a t-shirt. I'm literally sending me the teespring and I'll put it on my face. Like ten people said they'd buy that shirt today, so I think we're gonna be good. Uh, Allison, where do we find you? Where, I think where, it's where just are you so weird world? that that you're both blue and telling people to embrace the suck. It's just very strange phrasing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Well, if you suck, it doesn't matter. All right, Allison, how do we, where, where, where we can fi- find you at? Where, where on social media? Uh, can well, AllisonGoldberg.com and social media, I would say Allie underscore Goldie is my Instagram. Also, cool. I like your blue hair. I have pink in mine and I like it. I have no insults for you. I think you're rocking it and you should. Well, thank you. you I appreciate that. Every week. That's really sweet. Uh, I'm gonna, you do I'm gonna change it in quarantine. I'm going to paint, I'm going to change it with the jackets. That's how it's going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think so, it's a great so, plan. Perfect. It's going to be it's going to be fun. So uh, Nico White is just at, at Nico White on Instagram. So check him out there. Um, so with, with that, are we going to say goodbye to the studio audience, Steve? Is that what yes, we are. We're going to say goodbye to the, the studio, studio audience. audience. We- Thank you so much. You guys have been great yet again. You're our favorite part. My yeah. favorite part of the couple show. couple of weeks. We'll see you guys. all in Embrace the Suck shirts. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. And uh, yeah. And happy, so, bir- happy birthday, Frank. Happy birthday, Frank. Happy birthday, Frank. Frank. Get off the street. Happy birthday. Yeah, maybe Frank. Maybe think about doing a show where you ask people questions on the street for money. Like I don't know if you ever thought about that, but that Again? could be your niche. <laughs> yeah. No, no, a whole new show. It'd be a different show we'd never heard of before. It'd be very cool. Uh, Rachel, good seeing you. Thank you for embracing the the color with the red hair and eyebrows. I like that. I like the support. Yeah. So I hope you had now a- that you're a redhead. I will see you at the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I do have one last super chat that came in. So last yeah. minute, yes. Zara. 
uh, $15 from Zara. I just woke up and Bowers looks like he's been training in quarantine to beat Goku and went full on super state something blue. Uh, <laughs> or add red sneakers to complete the Sonic the Hedgehog look. Nerd on. That is it. fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Bye, guys. See you, Rach. Bye, Rachel. Bye, Rach. All right. So, uh, yeah, just you can find me uh, at Bowers Comedy. I'm hosting a bunch of Nowhere shows coming up. Nowhere, by the way, if you've not been to Nowhere Comedy Club show yet, they're really awesome. I saw Ben and, and Greg's show last night. It was super hilarious, super fun. It It's, uh, it's not, is it live stand up? Not quite, but it's way better than watching something on Netflix that was recorded seven months ago. Like you're part of it, you're in it. It's really cool. So check out nowherecomedy.club.com. They're doing cool stuff, they've got great acts all the time. And I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, having a good day today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with uh, maybe Red Jack and Red Hair. We'll see if I can find Red Wax. <laughs> well, if I ever do a Bowers impersonation, I'm going to have to stack up, step up my fucking game. I can't do it until I grow my hair back. <laughs> I, do, I do think I still have a blue yarmulke somewhere, though. So maybe. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, you guys were awesome as always. This was super fun. I don't think I've ever laughed harder at the beginning of an episode before. Um, <laughs> I have uh, I have my two shows coming up uh, May 15th and May 16th at Nowhere Comedy Club uh, where I'm doing my full set, including some new material I have not done on other shows yet, if I remember it. Uh, I also, uh, every, every Saturday night, I do uh, Ask Us Anything, which is a completely ad-lib show with Daniel Muggleton. And uh, I got to say, things at Nowhere are really kicking ass. It's crazy. Uh, we had a Vic DeBotetto show that we added yesterday. Uh, just got word it is already sold out. 400 tickets in less than a day. That's Ooh. insane. Um, and that's what's going on. So we're already working on trying to add two more with them. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys if you guys uh, still like live stand-up, uh, we're the place for it. So check out NowhereComedyClub.com. And uh, thank you all. I'm going to go make some shirts. <laughs> thank you all for being here with us today on the social distancing social club where as you know it's members only <laughs> <laughs> it's been so much fun yesterday was one of the highlights of my life getting to do a live improvised show we did improv games whose line is anyway style me and greg proops and we did 90 straight minutes of improv and that's after there was other openers it was incredible what what a fun experience so thank you for all all of you who supported that and i just and uh, now I don't know if tickets are live yet. I don't think they quite are, but they will be within the hour on NowhereComedyClub.com. Uh, you can uh, get tickets to me doing a solo hour of crowd work. It's going to be called, at least tentatively called, Glebe Off the Top. And I'll be doing my <laughs> improv uh, by myself. I often will do my whole headline set on the road, just making it up off the top. So that's on Tuesday, May 26th, a little bit earlier for other time zones at 6 30 p.m pacific and uh so please get a ticket to that later today if you can and uh that is it i just wanted to thank all of you for being here with us and to remind you that uh bowers looks unreal right now <laughs> i've never been so shocked by a visual sight in my life it's a it's it's a 180. It's a reinvention and a rebirth. I have a new respect. I'm stunned, but I'll adjust, and we'll get through it together. <laughs> you, few things shock me. We're living in a pandemic, post-apocalyptic world, and Bowers did his hair, and I was like, I can't process it. <laughs> Be a day. Thanks for being with us, and stay safe out there, y'all. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs>